you have beautiful spring water over there. Yeah, it's thank you. Good, y'all. So we are here in Fairfax, California. We're in Cataract Falls. Uh, we're right beside uh, a couple of different uh, wild springs around here. So a lot of people don't know that if you find running water, instead of finding stagnant water where it's just sitting, if you find running water and it's going down and it's filtering through the algae and all this stuff down here, you should be able to drink it, like Victor right here, bro. So you should be able to, you know, come out here if you're close by. You know, you should be able to identify where you can actually find drinkable water. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, right now we're in the woods. Um, we forage a little bit, we found some medicinal plants, and now we got running water where we can actually get hydrated in case we ever need something like this. We are going to play the Sunday about the, the spring water, you know. Everybody know about Fiji, everybody know about Montebali, but this big company no give the water straight from here. So these people buy land, close to this spring water like that, you take it from to the ground. So it's not doing the process like the electric process. You know, you see a tree over there, you see a rock. It's like natural filtering, whatever this water picking out the mineral, it's coming to here. You know, it's not coming straight to the ground. So it does leave water. It continues flows, electrified, you know? So, you know, we here. It's natural, it's not processed. Yeah, no <laughs> process. Coming from Panchamama. Look how clear the water is, man. Look yeah, at that. Go. Look at that. Oh, and also, Robo, tell us where we're going next. We're going to be heading out to Red Rock. Um, that's in Stinson Beach. So around the area, you can actually look this up, Red Rock Spring. It's in California, um, over here in the Bay Area. And uh, you can definitely tap in and get your spring water refill as many gallons as you need. Because we know that, that that not everyone is capable of like going here, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So if, if you're not able to uh, check out these type of areas like this, you can actually find springs near you. Uh, the Brother Victor shared a website last time and I remember using it when I was younger before too to find springs around me. And uh, um, it's really interesting, you know, that you can actually find drinkable water instead of drinking tap water or, you know, water that's in a bottle that's really been you know, stored for a while. Why it's important to find drinkable water is because you never know when they might cut the water out. We're going through, we're about to go through a recession. You know, they're gonna say there's a food shortage. Or what it, you know, like the next thing there is closer to is, is water. So find your water source near you. We are already in recession. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I think so. A lot of people need to unify with your neighborhood, you know, with your community, start to share Whatever knowledge you got, it access like yo, I grow in tomato. He grow in paper. You grow in something. You start to share because you know these people is against everybody over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you gotta be self-sufficient. So, if you ever find some dry mushrooms around the area and you just wanna help them grow a little bit, don't be scared to me if you have some water. You know, pour it on them. And that will help them grow. That will help the mycelium shock back into it. And eventually it will start growing a little bit more. Uh, especially in microclimates, when you find a little bit of humidity, especially when you're walking, sometimes you feel that hot air, cold air, and you feel a little bit of uh, humidity in there, like the water, um, you'll find a bunch of mushrooms. So mm -hmm. right here we got turkey tail. Mm -hmm. And it's growing along the side eventually here. Uh, mushroom season, this whole thing will be covered up again. Shining like diamonds, bro. Oh, it's dry already? Yeah. It's like every mushroom has its season. And then like sometimes when you find like microclimates, you find a bunch of mushrooms. Like if it was closer to the water, bro, you mm -hmm. have them growing for sure. Huh? If they were closer to the water, they would have a little more and they would have to So we're here in Fennel. You know it's a lot high in chlorophyll. It's good for the blood. 
you know, it's good for your skin, so you have a problem with your skin. We're going over here. This one. Yeah. We got it, the yellow dog, the public dog. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good for the immune system. It's good for like, if you want to have, you have a problem with the blood or low iron, it help you. It's amazing for the, I think I recommend to everybody to clean the immune system, help you clean the heavy metal from your body for age. It's good for anemic, it's good for people with problems with their skin, you know. This one is the lid, you know, so we have something over here to pick it out the root. Mm -hmm. You know, so this yellow dog is grown everywhere in Philadelphia, Memphis, Ten uh, Tennessee, Atlanta, California, everywhere. You know, this is the yellow dog. You see over here, the, this one is the seed. Right. So when it's dry, it look like look like quinoa. Mm -hmm. Some people blend it, it make it like sheep. You know, you can make it tortillas, make it like like flour from that. Oh. It's a lot. Can I get a picture? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna fill up my gas. I'm so crazy, I'm like, how are you? Hi, bro. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you, bro. Nice Troy. You. Much love. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. Much love. Nice to meet you. 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 You coming through here to pick it up water? Yeah, I've been coming here for like two years. Oh, wow. Yeah, I start my YouTube channel and I want to show the community how, you know, where it can pick it up the own water to not pay this big company like Montabal. <laughs> come to here to pick it up for free. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. bro. That's crazy. How long are you in California for? Uh, I live in LA, but oh, I'm coming to here with Gian to make it. I went to the, with the mountain. Uh, can I, can I Okay. Yeah, to pick it up most room. If I'm making my YouTube channel, so I want to show people how to pick it up the most room. You speak about with the benefits, you know? Awesome, awesome. Yeah. That's sick, bro. Yeah. You, how long you been here? Uh, I've been in California my whole life. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Living in the Bay Area? Bay Area my whole life, yep. Wow. How long you come, uh, how long you... This, you know? I've, been, I've been coming here for like two years. Yeah. Oh, two years? Yeah. How did the water help you? Man, it's good. It makes you connected to this area, you know? You, you really feel, feel it connected, you know? It, it interacts with your DNA and stuff. It's great, yeah. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. A lot of people talk to you about, hey, this is what you're to do. Yeah. It's like they're rubbing here and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not crazy, right? Yeah, last year this one, it was almost all the way dry. This one was running like that one. Yeah. But then the beginning of this year, it just started flowing again. But where is that water coming from? From, from this red that? rock right here, yep. Oh. It's in this rock, yep. It's like an aqua. Filtered up. Yeah, yeah wow. it filters through the rock and it, yep. Yeah, sick. Have you gone to the Mount Shasta City right now? Yeah. No, I haven't, but I have a property in Redding in Mount Shasta, and I actually, I get my water from a different spring, sure. but because that's about an nice hour one. drive yeah, yeah, yeah. for me to get to that spring. Yeah, you should go out there for sure. I know. Like okay, nice. Hell yeah. That's it. That's crazy, bro. That's a trip. Because I follow you on IG, so I'm like, I'm all like... I mean, you start filming with the plants, I'm like, this has got to be Dr. Sebi's. <laughs> 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 Big dog. Victor? What's your name? Victor. Cole. Oh, Cole. Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. And what's your website? Uh, it's called Bolingo Balan. Oh, Can you spell it? Bolingo? Uh, B-O-L-I-N-G-O and then balance.com. Can't you have one to give us some balance. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we made it to a state. Yeah, hell yeah. So, like, hell yeah, bro. I appreciate it. No worries, man. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, bro. I don't want it. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's real. So, Rob, tell, uh, tell us where we at right now. We're in Red Rock Spring. Over here at Stinson Beach. We're not that far away from the, uh, from the beach. If you look over to the other side, you can see the water. And then right now, we're getting some uh, lovely spring water straight from Pachamama. You know what I mean? Uh, instead of, like Brother Victor said, instead of buying some Fiji water or buying something from the store, you can just come to a spring near you, fill up. And it's free. Oh. Get it while you can, because then the next thing you know, they're gonna start bottling up the water. Wow. Right. 
Have you seen uh, Kennedy yeah. Desert? Nestle, they're trying to buy up all the water. Similar to Kennedy Desert? I, I, yeah. I know a little bit about that, but yeah. I, I just finished it like yesterday, last yeah. night. I just, I got so looked at them. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you get it? Uh, out here in the East Bay. So like all over the East Bay, there's a bunch oh, of artists. It's like, those, it's like turning to wood. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes on the logs and stuff. Uh, underneath yeah. bay trees. Underneath uh, bay trees. They look just like the roots. And so and then, oh, then, yeah. then when there's spores, they they throw out like uh, rusty spores. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one's super good for like that. Like I heard you talking about that. So part. you grind it up? No, Take cut it, cut it, slice it, and just a little bit. I don't know if you ever seen chaga, tea. chaga yeah. mushroom. Yeah. It's similar to that. Just a little bit goes a long way. And so you eat it when no, it's... you make tea. You make tea. Yeah, you make yeah, like a broth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can uh, like automatically when you drink the tea, like you can feel your blood pumping. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very and then nice. you gotta check it out. Oregano. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's exactly what I'm doing.